All things considered, spending by American consumers is holding up pretty well. One might have expected with the high rates of joblessness, Superstorm Sandy, and anxieties about the coming fiscal cliff that we would have seen consumer spending falter this fall. But in fact, we've seen decent auto sales. We've seen moderate growth in spending at retail stores. So uh, it looks like people are getting out there and consuming, which is cheering. Um, it probably reflects improvement in some of the fundamentals that influence consumers. It's probably reflecting um, a little bit of improvement on the uh, jobs front. Uh, it's probably reflecting home prices uh, turning around a bit, which is making people feel wealthier. And it's probably reflecting a somewhat easier ability to borrow and refinance. The consumer is really important. Um, and I think it's just a question of of how important uh, we want the consumer to be. Um, over the longer run, there are, are important downsides to having so much demand driven by the American consumers because strong consumer demand implies low national saving, which tends to be associated with low private investment, which hurts the productive capacity of our economy. So, for robust growth over the longer run, uh, we want less of our demand made up by spending by American consumers, more of it directed towards exports, which means more demand coming from consumers abroad. Um, that said, getting from here to there is uh, probably going to take time. It's going to require adjustments uh, both here and abroad. It's certainly an interesting question as to whether the experiences of the past uh, several years have made us um, more prudent, um, more conservative about spending and borrowing. And we have seen some increase in saving relative to prior to the crisis. And we have seen some survey evidence suggesting that people would like to be saving more. Um, as yet, we don't really know what's going to happen over the long, longer run. It certainly is a story that people like to tell about the Great Depression, that their you know, grandparents and great-grandparents lived through these hard times and were forever after frugal. But um, right now, there's just too many moving parts in the economy to know if there's actually been a real cultural shift towards uh, more prudence. There's always a lot of attention that we give to um, the importance of holiday shopping for um, growth in our economy. Uh, the fact is that people do do more spending this time of year than they do at other times of years. It's not as much more important uh, as one might expect if you are uh, you know, following this in the newspapers. Um, it turns out that spending this time of year is a few percent higher than it, is, it would be, uh, you know, if it were just like a normal month. So it is, it's, it's more important, but perhaps not as important as you think. Um, as to what's going on this year, there have been uh, certainly uh, reports from retailers suggesting that um, people have been out there spending, that it's a solid, a solid holiday shopping season. Um, it's, it's, it's really hard to know, though, at this point. I mean, there are always reports that um, some retailer is doing really well or everybody is buying some type of product. And the real question there is, uh, you know, where is that demand coming from? Are people dipping into their savings to do that spending? Or are they just shifting spending from, you know, the gift that was big last year or the store that was in style last year? And, uh, you know, at this point, we don't know. We're, we'll know for sure in the middle of January when we see kind of the data for the retail sector as a whole. And that's when we're going to know if it, it really was a, a, a strong holiday season uh, that supported growth in the American economy.